We are back with Coach Bell again this week. Spartans had another win, but a little tougher game. This double overtime win over Pickwell, a little tougher. Tough time scoring. Take us through that game a little bit. Well, you know, I thought Pickwell was very prepared for that football game. And I didn't think we came out very intense. I mean, uh, we did jump up 12 to nothing, but I just didn't really like the kind of the way our, our team looked or acted during a pregame and everything. And it just uh, was a little rainy out there. So I wasn't I wasn't too surprised that they were right with us there. And then uh, we were able to get a score, 99-yard drive right before half to go up 20 to 13. And then they shut us out in the second half, and we had we didn't score until overtime. Talk a little bit about those overtime plays. The defense came up big for the end there, right? I thought our defense played outstanding. They had um, two or three goal line stands. Uh, got them to down on the one to one time for the 99-yard drive we had. They picked the ball off in the end zone. They had another another one. We had a nice stop, and uh, you know we got into overtime. We scored that first play of overtime. Demonte took one in on a on a counter with nice block from Keaton and Darius, and then a two point conversion. Darius threw a nice hard ball to uh, Ruben, who pulled it down, and then they they made two outstanding plays to uh, get themselves into the second overtime, and then we had a nice. Nice power game there for the two touch or the touchdown, the conversion to go up eight again, and uh, on fourth down, fourth and three from their thirteen, they went for a play action pass, and the young man was wide open, but we recovered pretty quick and knocked it out of his hands before he could get down in the end zone. So that was a great win for us because we didn't play very well, um, but our defense stepped up, and when it came down to it, we made the plays we had to to win. You talked about Ruben Flowers. <coughs> Just talk a little more about him. He set a, a School record, single game receptions. Everybody knows how good this kid is, but what does he mean to this this team? Well, I thought um, I thought he stepped up. He twisted his ankle there a little bit, and uh, they weren't tough catches. I mean, we threw a lot of little hitches to him and a couple down the sidelines. But you know, he was he was the guy that was catching the ball. You know, he was the guy that was catching the ball, and he was open out there, and they they had to respect him because they were playing off of him a little bit. And Terry's got the ball to him. I thought he showed really good leadership. I thought Demonte Lyles. Jalen Thomas, you know, those guys really stepped up there when we needed it in the uh, second half. Now we're heading into <clears throat> track play. Now Whitmer comes to town this Friday. It has a, a very tough game for you guys last year. What are they looking like this year? What do you have to do to, to get this win? Well, you know, they have, they have crushed us two years in a row. Um, two of the most embarrassing games I've been a part of in my career. And, uh, you know, I, I, I talked to the boys about that on Monday at practice, and then we're going to forget about it and just worry about this year. They're a very solid football team. I was I was shocked that they got beat last week. The first two games I looked at on tape, they looked as good a football as I've seen in our league since I've been in here. So they're physical. They're good up front. They got athletes in every position and uh, got a three-year starter at quarterback who's a Division One scholarship kid. So, you know, they're, they're as good a football team as we'll play on our schedule. There's been a lot of talk that your goal is to win the draft this year. I mean, it has to, it has to win Friday, right? Uh, you know, I don't know about that. I mean, I think um, I think someone's going to win. They, the the team that wins the track probably isn't going to be undefeated in the league. I think it's a it's a conference with us, um, Whitmer, uh, TCC, Finley. Right now is undefeated, playing very well. You know, so it's it's a conference kind of wide open. And I I don't think you have to win every game, but yeah, you want to win your first game, and especially against a team that's whooped on you for two years. Yesterday, the, the first football polls came out. You guys were ranked number six. What's your reaction to that ranking? Is that where you thought you'd end up? Well, I, I, at this point in the year, I was hoping to be three and zero. Oh. I, um, you know, I didn't know if we'd be two and one or three and zero oh because I wasn't real sure about Middletown. I knew Pickle was going to be tough because this was the third year in a row we were going to play them, and they're they're a well coached team. So I'm real happy to be three and zero. Oh. I don't really worry. I, the polls are exciting for everybody, and, and you know, but can't really worry about that. We were in the polls all last year and kind of crumbled at the end. So. Big thing is just to continue to get better every week, and I think we got better, you know, starting yesterday in practice than we had before. So we got some things straightened out, and I think we'll be better this week.